Hey everyone, so for today my project was Yahoo.com and Yahoo.com is more than just a website and a search engine. Yahoo has now become a website where we write articles for people who are interested in sports, news, weather, politics, so on and so forth. It's a major website, it's gone from just being a search engine to a website that prov uh, provides articles for anyone who may be searching written by some of the top journalists uh, in the world. Looking at our metrics at yahoo.com, there are plenty of things that we like to look at. One being our user visits. That's our most important thing. How often are people coming to use us? How many people are coming to look at our website? Are they coming back? Those are things we like to look at. Our landing pages, what are people coming to land? Or what, what pages are people looking at? Obviously, page views. We want to make sure our journalists are doing the right thing and, and providing material that our, our viewers want to read. Uh, all of our pages are important, so we want to take a look at all, how all of our pages are, are performing in every single category, whether it's sports news uh, or weather. Our bounce rate, where are people leaving, what pages there are they leaving on to view other things. Uh, how are we doing bringing in new people into Yahoo? That's very important. It's great to have a following, but it's also extremely important to, br uh, to branch out and bring in new people. If you bring in journalists that people like to listen to and they like to read, then you're going to be able to grab new um, and fresh viewers. So if the material is good, new people will begin to flock to your site. It's always great to increase your rate instead of staying flatline. Uh, new visitors, obviously that goes hands in hand with unique visitors. Uh, are we getting new people in? And then obviously our exit pages, where are people um, leaving? So Yahoo, we feel, is very, are, is very easy to use uh, as a website. You know, when users visit our site, there are many different ways they can uh, search for things they're looking for. For instance, on the left-hand side, you see there's a sports section, news, auto, whatever it may be. Uh, there's also a scroll bar in between, or a scroll section, where viewers can uh, look at pictures and hit on a, a top story. There's also a social media trending site, which is great because now you know what's being bandied about, what's being talked about around the world. If you happen to click on the sports link, it sends you to this, the Yahoo Sports page. Here are our top headlines. Uh, so you'll see the top sports stories uh, in the world, not necessarily just in the United States, but in the world. There's also another uh, scroll page or a scroll uh, section where, you know, top headlines will be uh, scrolled through. You also can have um, your favorite teams list. If you're a person who likes to have stories, or likes to find out stuff about your favorite teams. Setting up a, a section where your favorite sports teams is awesome because you'll only find you'll be able to find stories and information about them immediately and quickly. That's so important because our viewers uh, may not have a whole lot of time to you know scroll through the pages and they may be looking for something you know direct and precise. And having something set up where they can create their own quote unquote favorites list is great because then they can get onto their get onto our site they'll know we'll have the uh, updated information about their teams or their events and be able to you know come back later on and, and you know check that site again uh, just in case you uh, we went back to the first page and you hit news we'll go back to the first page so you see news right here if you hit news again it sends you to a totally different page um, where you'll get news headlines news from the around the world the United States so our site really has a lot for everyone um, out there who, who's searching for new and, and fresh um, work. Our target audience really is a, a large group of people. We're obviously looking for, uh, you know, sports fans with our sports page, our uh, our our businessman who may be looking in our finance section or, or in the world news, the worldly fellow who's looking for. Um, just updated news on what's going on and obviously we have an entertainment section so the quote unquote gossip girl would love to come to our site because it gives us we think that each demographic uh, that we hit is very very important uh, the way we structured our site our key performance in indicators are loyalty new users and article hits now a great way to figure out and find what users are coming to our sites are through social media dash dashboards visitor loyalty is great and we can find that out by using uh, a site like Hootsuite. This is a great site because it allows us to use um, certain platforms. It puts up our site as well as our social media accounts uh, on, all on the same uh, page and we're able to see what people are saying about our site, what people are saying about what we're doing. 
uh, are they are they communicating about our pages are they talking back and forth to us uh, it's a great way to find out what our statistics look like amongst our key demographic between the ages of 18 to 45 and, and how social how our, our uh, articles are being perceived uh, online how they're trending how uh, are they being well perceived um, from our viewers another way to take a look at it uh, or another indicator would be new users obviously we want to have new people new people view our site and Google Analytics allows us to take a look at that. Um, we can find out from anywhere across the world who's coming in to view our site, where they're coming from, and are they new to our, our web program. That's, that's very important because, again, like I stated earlier, we, we don't want to stay flatline. We want to be able to increase and improve uh, our product. If we're not getting new viewers, then we're not doing something right. That means we need to freshen up our material, we need to freshen up our journalists, and we need to freshen up our, our, our ideas. And in order to stay ahead of the game, we need to make sure we're continuing to grow. Finally is our article heads. This is really important because just like it's important to make sure our ideas are fresh, we also want to make sure our viewers are liking what they're reading. If, if an article is not trending well, then it's not important to the viewers that we're posting it out to. By Market Me Suite, we're able to find out what people are thinking about our article and how our article is actually doing. Are people coming to read it? Are they coming out to, uh, you know, pass it along to other people? Uh, do they enjoy what they're reading? And, and by taking a look at the market suite, uh, we're able to see the comments that are being made on our, on our article. But we're also able to see how many people are actually viewing it. If the journalists are producing great material, viewers, there should be, our viewership should be very high.